Hello and welcome to Ula Tea Leaf Readings. My name is Lenore and tonight I'm going to be reading your tea leaves. This is a horoscope for Capricorn. If Capricorn is your solar, lunar, ascendant slash rising sign, then this is a message for you. All right, let's get started. And so this is a bonus reading for Capricorn. And our card tonight is the Empress. And let's see what these tea leaves have to say tonight. And so if you have not subscribed yet, please think about doing that. You can hit the little bell. It'll let you know when the next readings are coming out. And it's free to subscribe. Sometimes I say that so many times in a night that I'm, I'm like, wait, did I just say that in the reading already? <laughs> I can't remember. Oh, weird. Okay, so we have, it says J-U-R-Y, jury. Okay, so um, maybe you have jury duty coming up or maybe there is some kind of, I don't know, maybe there is some kind of legal thing going on in your life. Maybe not just with you. It could be somebody close to you um, or I don't know, maybe feeling judged by people around you. But I, I almost feel it's so clearly jury that I feel like this, this has to be kind of, it feels like it, it I almost feel like you have jury duty. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but it does, it feels like maybe something in the legal system. Um, hopefully not anything too serious, right? Um, but... Maybe we'll see if we can find some clarity about that. Okay, so we have a person sitting right here and you can see their mind is kind of, a, it, there's like a, like a telepathic connection here, a psychic connection, and we have a star, okay? So the star to me, the star card archetype is so often related to our goals, right? If you can imagine standing out at night, gazing at the sky, looking at a distant star and, you know, kind of setting your intentions. This is what I dream of. This is what I want to do. One day I will find my way to this beautiful dream that I have, this goal that I have. Um, I am going to wish upon the star and I'm going to ask for guidance and um, the ability to see this thing through. And so I, I feel like you are in a place of really, really being focused on on meeting this, th whatever this long-term goal is. Um, you're in a place in your life where you are taking it seriously. I'm really um, imagining that you are using your um, kind of innate abilities to manifest because you are a very um, psychic being, a very powerful, uh, magical being. And so here we are, I could, like a almost the active imagination or um, calling these this imagery into your mind so it might manifest into the waking world. And I don't, you know, I don't see you kind of just going for the direct thing. Um, as a Capricorn, you are somebody who looks at the larger system, the path that leads to the thing, the variables that need to be put in place there to make this thing happen. And so I can see you kind of really manifesting the like tools, the, um, you know, the ingredients, the, um, the motivation, the will, the, um, time and so on, all the stuff coming together. And, um, and I can see you kind of making, uh, this visual plan 
manifesting it one step at a time. Okay. And, um, that's, I think very powerful, very powerful image. Um, And the sound, I'm so sorry. I don't know what it is in our house, but if I'm filming past midnight, something comes on and I think it's like washing something. I don't know. I don't know what this is. I'm, I've only been here for a few days. So <laughs> Every time it comes on, I'm like, what is that? I have to go check it out. But by the time I'm done, then it's over. I forget about it. Okay, so we also have a person here. Um... And it looks like they're, I almost imagine like a wizard, okay, um, an alchemist. And I, I see kind of like, it almost looks like a rune. I don't know. Um, I'm not familiar with runes. So if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it kind of the lettering almost reminds me of that. But I can imagine like kind of making a sigil, a sigil or some kind of magical um, symbol device of some kind. And um, using kind of a long pointing wand, yeah, and drawing it um, in the air there. So I think you really are in this place of like really employing the magic that you um, already know. You know, you're already learned in these things. And so, um, you know, I just, you are so focused on, um, making this thing happen and when you get a capricorn really set on something you better watch out because they they are you're not gonna stop until um you get this thing done and probably perfected right it's not just about completing it's refining it and all of the other so um Yes, I can. I could see you definitely using all of the tools that you have, all the techniques you have. Okay, so let's look up here. We have, it looks like a, um, maybe a ram. I'm imagining that's a ram. So maybe an Aries person. You have a person sitting here and another person kind of standing. We have a bird on their hand. And it looks like we have maybe a tent. So I can almost imagine um, going... This one kind of reminds me of Dionysus. Because they're holding... They're kind of like on one... Almost kind of like the, um, the, the magus, right? The magician and holding a cup, very kind of mercury energy, um, balancing on one foot, kind of in this display of joy. Um, and we have the bird that's like kind of mimicking it. And I immediately get this feeling of kind of like as above, so below. Everything kind of mirrored in, it's like a fractal mirroring here. And I feel like you're just, you're so connected. You're seeing um, the implication of each piece of, of you know, all, the, all the things that are going on in life. Looking for the harmony looking for that kind of strand of consciousness that runs through um, all things, gaining access to it as well. Um, and so I, I just, I'm really, I feel this real, um, this real pull of going into self. And I really, I do feel like you are utilizing some kind of visionary work or, um, or technique, I should say, like I said, again, active imagination is one of, that's my favorite go-to besides dreaming. Um, but meditation or maybe some kind of transcendental, um, practice, something, something like this, this isn't all playing out in the physical world. I think that you are really inside yourself in these kind of interior landscapes. And this may be 
Um, you know, you may be pretty learned of these things, but I think this is probably one of the most potent experiences of magic that you've had and um and i think that this is something that you're even still kind of skeptical about its validity um but i do think that you see uh you know these things kind of coming to pass that you have been working on in these ma in these magical places um you know if it's something very formal like you like i said making like sigils and talisman and doing ceremonial magic and so on or if you're doing things like making vision boards and and writing your intentions and and you know setting them on fire and you know that kind of thing um it doesn't matter because it all is so potent and whatever you know your um whatever whatever feels familiar to you whatever feels like yeah this is um this is calling me uh it is it's worthy and i think it is really helpful for you now we have that tent and we have the aries um person I'm taking a sip of my drink. My mouth is just so dry from allergies and allergy medicines, even though I'm using all these other things like, um, you know, local honey and vitamin C and, and tea and lemon and, you know, this and that. And whew, it just, um, my allergies are really hitting me this, this year. So anyways, um, we have the, ten and I feel, yeah, going outside of your norm, okay? And I feel like maybe actually going on some kind of trip, um, going on some kind of pilgrimage, a hike, camping, going to, you know, wherever, something, it feels like a holy place for you. Uh, or it's maybe something that you are drawn to. Um, something you've dreamt about and I could see you maybe going with this Aries person maybe this is like a sister or a brother it could be um, a spouse or a best friend but it's somebody you have traveled with before and somebody that you were very close to and um, what an odd pairing but also kind of not right Aries and Capricorn um, I could see how you all would get to get like be really good together um, also though, m the communication may be difficult at times. Um, but I, I could see this maybe being a really, um, exciting reprieve and, um, kind of really supporting all of this other energy that is kind of going on right now. Sounds like we're at the car wash. So we have an M. And I can see somebody kind of almost frolicking. It feels like running, frolicking. We have some kind of plant right here. Almost kind of reminds me of something like goldenrod. These really kind of beautiful, lacy looking flowers. And so I imagine, yeah, like kind of running through the field, having fun, moving your body and being kind of free with, with things and, um, you know, feeling like a child again and, um, you know, just having a bit of an adventure, letting loose a bit. We also have a woodpecker. So I kind of almost feel like maybe it's the Aries person, maybe it's somebody else, but I feel like there's somebody who, um, is trying to get deeper in, like trying to penetrate your 
uh, walls that you kind of put up. Um, and I don't think it's that you intentionally, and at least in this case, you're trying to keep them away. Um, but I, I just think that, you know, you've so often gone through life where you don't feel the necessity to explain how you're feeling all the time or talking about, you know, what you're doing or how you're doing it. Or I think even when somebody kind of, um, pays you too much attention, uh, even if it's like an, it's not offensive or they're just kind of checking in with you. Um, I think it almost kind of, it hits on a spot in you where it feels like, um, they think you're like you're weak or you need like their support or it's, it's, it almost feels kind of offensive to you. Um, and I think, you know, or they're nosy or it's none of your business, get out of here, you know, kind of thing. Um, but I, I feel like I think they're like slowly, you know, kind of poking that hole in there, um, to kind of get to know you better, to be closer with you. And, um, and I do, I think they're really kind of devoted to, um, this friendship, this, this, um, romantic entanglement. This might even be, uh, that this is like your spouse and they are just, you know, there's somebody who, um, they love you and they know you, but there are aspects of your being that, um, it takes time to kind of, uh, get to that, to the honey of the thing. And, um, and I get this so much because I'm a Virgo and um my husband is a cancer and i love to tell him how i'm feeling all the time you know usually it's pretty good and i splendor in those moments you know of feeling pretty happy about things and um you know and my and you probably know my husband shout out to dove and serpent tarot uh, my husband paul over there um and on his readings he is um I think he's much more open than in daily life. Obviously, we're not exactly always like we are on the videos, right? Um, I definitely don't talk as much in real life. <laughs> uh, but I will talk about all the things I talk about here. So, um, but yeah, he can be kind of a tough nut to, to break, you know, to get to see what's going on. It took me some years to get used to because I am such a, like, if something is wrong or if somebody feels some type of way, I want to talk about it right now. I want to figure it out. I want to get the saying resolved. Well, um, you know, my, my wonderful and talented and beautiful husband, which he is all of those things, um, he could sit on it for like 10 years and then all of a sudden he'll bring it up and it's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I have no recollection of any of that. Um, but yeah, so it can be hard. It can be difficult. And it can be difficult to let people in, right? As much as I am open and I am a Capricorn, or yes, I'm a Capricorn rising. And so um, there's some things in my life where I just feel like that's none of your business like why would you even ask me that why would you even talk to me about that you know um that's not unless i tell you i don't want you asking me you know and i think that's my capricorn side there um even even with the channel um when we first started our channels paul and i um again shout out to dove and serpent tarot go check them out if you haven't seen them before um, but when we first started and neither of us knew what it was going to be like, you know, we'd interact with people on comments and emails and I was modding his, a lot of his comments and, and stuff. And, you know, of course we, um, we don't divulge private things about people. Um, you know, we, we're both not very, we're not gossipy and we both respect people's privacy. Um, but you know, at times we would just get, um, uh, people, I don't, you know, saying stuff that was just like, so, um, I couldn't believe it, 
you know, I just couldn't believe some of this stuff. And that's something I had to get over too, is like people coming onto my channel and being like, oh, your husband's so hot and I'm so, I love him so much and you know, whatever. And, um, and I was like, that is so disrespectful. <laughs> How could you, you know? And, um, and I've lightened up, you know, it's, I, I had to get used to doing all of this and, and whatever. Um, I still don't like it. You know, I mean, it's not my favorite thing to hear. <laughs> I know what my husband is. He's freaking amazing and gorgeous. Um, but you know, um, it just sometimes there are things and I feel like it's all, it's that Capricorn part of me. It's just, no, don't go there. <laughs> don't go there. Um, so I can, I can feel, you know, there, there's a sense of, yeah, um, it, it'll take time to, it could take them 20 years, you know, to, to finally get to the core of something with you. Um, and that's okay because you're lovely and they're sticking around because they want to know you. And I think you want to know them, right? I don't think it's like an invasive thing. I think you just, you know, you're a mystery. You reveal yourself slowly and that's, that's not a bad, that's not bad at all. I like it. I like that about Capricorn people. I like that about cancer people. You know, as much as it's hard to communicate sometimes, my favorite people, absolutely. No offense to you, Capricorn, but I do. I like people that, um, you know, pace themselves, <laughs> and, you know, because I'm the opposite sometimes. Absolutely. So anyways, let's take a look. We have a heart. We have a little bird. We have a visitor, a loved one coming through. Somebody who has transitioned, um, who has left their physical form at some point. And it looks like we have, it almost looks like a dog jumping over like a cone or something. I almost wonder if there is a dog here involved. If you, if they had a dog that they really cared about, they were very close with them. I almost kind of feel like you had something to do with taking care of the dog, or maybe when you would visit this person, you really loved their dog and got along with them. But I almost can imagine it. This is a dog that, um, had to go through like maybe some kind of dog training because they were maybe a little rambunctious or they weren't listening or, you know, whatever. Um, but I think they're like coming that I feel like they are coming through to talk about this dog or at least remember it. I must wonder if you, if the dog came and lived with you at some point. But this feels kind of like maybe when you're younger. Okay, let's see. What else do we have going on over here? So we have no, it's just N-O, right? <laughs> no. So there's a no in the mix here. Something's going on with a big no. But we also have, it looks like a ring. So I wonder if somebody w was getting engaged in your life. Maybe you are, I don't know, but it doesn't, hopefully not you, because I feel like this is something that's not gonna happen. I feel like this is, this is an engagement that will never be actualized. But I don't necessarily think it's going to be some big deal either. Um, it maybe these, these people are young or they just, you know, they come to a place where they realize it's maybe not the right decision. Um, and then we have a 12 and we have a 21 there, 12, 21. So kind of, um, that real, that real nice symmetry that I love. 12, 21. Okay. Let's go ahead and look over here. 
All right, let's take a look at these wild bohemian affirmation cards. These are the fire element. And I'm going to go ahead and we'll flip through and we'll stop where it feels right. It says, I am seer. You know how to clear and renew. Art and creativity are your magnificent tools. Art and creativity are your magnificent tools. Yes. Okay. All right. I'll take it. Capricorn, I'm going to tell you I love you because I do, and I thank you so much for spending this time with me. It is always such an honor to be able to bring these messages to you, and if you would be so kind as to like the video, it really does help the channel so much, and if you have not subscribed yet, please think about doing that. Um, it definitely, uh, that also helps the channel, um, but if you do, hit the little bell. It'll tell you when the next readings are coming out. I don't want you to miss anything. Um, what else? What else? If you want to leave a comment, I would love to hear from you. I read them all. Um, I try to stay. I try to stay up with them. It's been hard the last couple of weeks, though, with moving and everything else that's going on over here. Just getting these studios together, trying to figure out these acoustics. I know it's kind of echoey, um, but we are we are on it. We are on it, <laughs> figuring it out. Um, so, anyways, Capricorn, I love you. I love you. I love you. I'm going to bed right the second. I'm gonna fly right into my bed and go to sleep so we'll talk we'll talk in a couple days and good night and good night and good night